So right now, the rover is returning to our ship from the planet's surface, and there is an alien creature aboard. So while we're waiting, let's get a radiation treatment. in truth it's not very useful for me to get a radiation treatment right now because I can tell you ahead of time this is going to end badly but the curious thing is there are three ways that things can end badly where an alien visitor is concerned in this game so here we are I'm going to unload the rover And there he is. Now he's crawling into the cargo management duct. Now, if I leave orbit while he's still in the duct, here is what happens. He's probably still scuttling through the cargo management system. So I'm going to exit orbit and end the expedition. Robert Gray explored the planet's surface at some length, mapping portions of the rocky island he discovered at the landing site. He looted 14 alien artifacts from derelicts on the surface. He made extensive use of the Celeste's research lab, substantially advancing his understanding of several alien technologies. His studies of alien devices leaned toward thermal technology. During the long voyage home, the Celeste science computer identified the most valuable among them, as a target scanner worth 10,000 credits. In all, his collected treasures were worth a total of 54,490 credits. He relaxed on the long journey home, not realizing the terrible significance of the knocking sound he occasionally heard from the cargo network tubes underfoot. He was extremely surprised when an alien creature burst forth through the forklift doors, though ultimately his surprise was short-lived. The Celeste continued on and arrived at Tantalorn Station on autopilot. The ship sat, silent on all comms channels, until the station dispatched a boarding party to investigate. They were not prepared for the gnawed corpse they found, nor the hungry, six-limbed horror lurking behind it. There were no survivors. So, we suffered a 5,000-point penalty for killing the boarding party that investigated our ship, and, of course, we took a serious hit on our multiplier because we died. So, that's the first way that you can die in-game. The second way that you can die from leaving orbit with the aliens still aboard happens if the creature gets out of the cargo management duct. I'll show you now. First, let's unload the rover. And here he comes. Now this time, I'm not going to leave orbit just yet, what I'm going to do is wait for the creature to emerge from the cargo management tubes in one of the three rooms. So, just to protect myself, I'm going to close the door to the science lab. 
I'm going to close the door to the rover garage, like so. And then I'm going to make sure that we have the doors to the storage hold closed. And sure enough, we do. Now, I'm going to go over to our engineering station and track where he's going. Okay. If we zoom in close, we can see that he's currently scuttling toward the science lab. So, let's take a look. So, any moment now, we'll start seeing the cargo doors rattling as he's trying to push his way out. Knock, knock. Any moment now. There he is. So there he is, pressed up against the glass. The cargo door has clicked shut behind him. And he's just... staring intently at me. Now the doors are closed, so he can't get to me, so you would think, well, I'll just leave orbit right now and he can just remain locked in the science lab for the trip home, right? <laughs> well, let's see what happens when we do that. Apparently he agrees. Okay, let's go to the bridge and go home. Okay, here we go. So I'll skip to the second paragraph. Robert Gray can find the six-limbed alien aboard the Celeste behind closed doors. He initially found the occasional alien shrieks unsettling, but he eventually grew accustomed to them during the long trip home. Unfortunately, he underestimated the intelligence of the creature. It observed him actuating the door controls in other rooms during the journey, and it learned from him. Robert Gray's last thought was that that last shriek sounded much closer than the previous ones. And you're dead. With only a 5% multiplier on your score. So your score is a little better than before because you didn't suffer a 5,000 point penalty for uh, killing a boarding party. So that's the second way things can end badly if you leave orbit with the alien still aboard. Now, as an added bonus, I'm going to toss in what happens if the alien actually gets a hold of you while you're still in orbit. So, stand by.
So here we are aboard the ship one more time, and we're about to demonstrate what happens if the alien gets a hold of you while you're still in orbit. So let's unload the rover. There's box number one. And here's our guest. All right. Now, while he's scuttling through the ducts, I'm going to take a moment and go into the cargo bay, just in case he winds up in there. And I'm going to put on my EVA suit. And I'm doing this because the EVA suit will give you partial protection against the creature. You can suffer one hit from the creature at least. I haven't dared a second hit, but I do remember one time while I was trying to flee the creature and I had my suit on and it damaged my suit visor. I was lucky in that it didn't hit me a second time, but I'm going to guess that a second hit would kill me. We're about to find out. Let's see where he is now. Okay, he's making his way to the science lab again. So this time, I'm going to keep the door open. Any moment now. Those with weak constitutions should stop watching now. Here he comes. Okay, that's one hit. And he got me. That's it, now he's biting me. And he's biting me again. And he's biting me again. And there's blood everywhere. Yup. Munchy munchy. Robert Gray made an unfortunate end. Savagely eviscerated, the only mercy was his eventual loss of consciousness. ISC-170 Celeste was declared missing, then eventually presumed lost with all hands. In the vastness of space, it is unremarkable that the remains of his body were never discovered. It is perhaps some small comfort that the alien creature loose aboard the Celeste will also perish. And because there were no objects recovered, that combined with my uh, multiplier being so small because I died, that's an even smaller score. So there you have it, Sploder. I have shown you three ways that the alien can kill you if you don't flush it out of the airlock. So, thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time.